That's one of the key projects mm -hmm. that we'll be undertaking. The logic behind it is as follows. South Africa has got about 80% of the world's reserves of platinum group metals. These platinum group metals are critical for the catalysis of hydrogen into energy. And as you know, in the search for alternative and sustainable energy sources, one of the, 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 the projects or, 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 or possibilities that people are looking at is fuel cell technology and the hydrogen economy. And it's precisely in that area of fuel cells that hydrogen and platinum become critical. A number of countries globally, uh, in Europe, in uh, Asia, particularly Japan, as well as uh, North America, have already done quite a lot of research on this. And already they've introduced the, 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 the fuel cells into some of the vehicles for, tra for transportation. The advantage of the fuel cells is that whilst the ordinary electric batteries would take a car, say, a distance of some 300 kilometers, fuel cells have got the possibility of going 1,000, 2,000 and more kilometers because they've got better capacity to store energy. Now the issue is, if we've got those reserves of platinum group metals, and this is possibly an economy of the future, that is the hydrogen economy, the, uh, fuel cell technology is a technology of the future, it means that gives us major, major opportunities that we need to exploit. Mm -hmm. Amongst others, how do we ensure that we do, we do not just export these platinum group metals for the manufacture of fuel cells elsewhere, but that South Africa itself becomes the epicenter of the manufacture of these fuel cells. Our Minister of Science and Technology was saying perhaps we should look at uh, having about 25% of the share of the hydrogen economy globally by 2025. Some estimates are that uh, that economy might be worth about $400 billion. Um, and if you have got a quarter of that, it's about uh, $100 billion. If we were to translate it just 1 to 10, it means you would be injecting a trillion rand into the South African economy from one subsector of the mining industry. Major opportunities that we need to take advantage of. And therefore, we've assembled the natural scientists, engineers, and others who are doing research on fuel cells. We have assembled economists who look at the economic implications of an opportunity such as this. But we've also as, uh, included in the project team uh, international experts who will be looking at the geopolitical implications of this because if you become that that critical as a source of a major mineral uh, for, 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 for energy production, storage, catalysis and so on, then it means you, 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 you will be the focus of the world that depends on you for, for those endowments. <music>